I don't want to know what that stain is. All that stain. All that stain. All I know is that someone had a hell of a lot of bodily fluids in them and that's creeping me out. Greetings Cornerinos, welcome to this weekend's episode of Ian's VR Corner. You can find me here in 1908 London as I'm about to investigate some crimes in a preview build of the Room VR A Dark Matter on the Oculus Quest. So uh, let's kick things off and solve some crimes. Oh, what a lovely view. London, you really are looking grimy today. Just how I always imagine it looking. And in fact, through the Oculus Quest here, this, um, this game's looking pretty gorgeous already. I mean, there is some high quality visuals here for a Quest title. Just looking at this little balcony, that is. Um, I don't want snap turn, um, but I think that's all the kind of movements you have because you uh, you teleport to the locations in the game that you need. You can also play this game um, sat down if you really want. Uh, I've decided to uh, show it off stood up uh, questified. So grab the projector handle with the grip and move it down, huh? Ooh. Dozens of disappearances in just a few weeks, but this is one of the strangest. Dr. Rupert Montgomery has vanished, I see. Uh, let's uh, see what else there is. The storage area of the British Institute of Archaeology where the professor was last seen. How can someone disappear from such a secure building without anyone seeing him leave? Hmm, I guess that's up to me to find out. Look at this. There's one of those crazy boards with the string on. I feel like a proper detective with that around. Uh, this is the piece the professor was studying when he disappeared. Some kind of sarcophagus. Nothing else was missing. No evidence of a struggle or a break, and it doesn't make sense. I should check my desk in case the sergeant has left a report. Okay, so we're going to turn to face my desk. I believe that's going to be my desk. And here's the report. Let's pick that up with the grab. A peculiar old gentleman was asking after you. He gave me a parcel, said it would help with the disappearances. I swear the damn thing was making the strangest noise, though the constable told me I was hearing things. I put it in your wall safe if you want to see for yourself, Sarge. And then he's, he's smudged it because he's a messy bastard. Can I have a look in these things? I can open them, but uh, there's nothing in them. What about here? Oh, there's a key. Okay. Um, add key to inventory. How do that? Just like that. I just pick it up and then let go. And that is the key added to the inventory. Yeah, there's, um, there's a surprising amount of detail in this location. Obviously, because it seems to be quite a small enclosed location and not a huge open game. Uh, you know, they can invest a bit more uh, into making this world detailed. Um, but it looks really pretty for a quest game. I like the, uh, the sense of scale to the room as well is really nice. Uh, let's head out here. There seems to be another glowing spot here in a safe. Uh, open the inventory and use the grip button to pick up the key. Uh, that is X. Which one is X? Here we go. Grip button to pick up the key. Uh, there we go. I have to highlight it. So I've got my key. Let's shove it in there. Give it a turn. Ooh. Tentacles. That's very Lovecraft. What was that? I need to get this open. Perhaps there's some evidence uh, in the storage that can help. Okay. So that's not going. Let's have a quick look. Perhaps there's some something in evidence storage. Okay, so that's not evidence storage. We've got pictures up here. We've got like uh, notices we can read. Cholera. Mm, filthy. Okay, what's this up here? Please file evidence with the correct case number for easy retrieval. The filing system isn't that complicated. You are detectives. Work it out, Sarge. I'm sure we confiscated something that can help me crack the safe. It'll be listed on the blackboard. Um, okay, safe cracking. William Clark. Hmm. He... It, what, petty theft? H11? Maybe that'll help. Safe cracking would probably help me get into the safe, but there's, it's just completely rubbed out there. 
let's try uh, on, is there 11 Oop. and then oh I just have to hold it like that H11 petty theft what's this evidence going to be a, a, a pocket watch I don't know if that's, that's going to help me in any way it's added to my inventory so all right well then i guess i'm going to have to use process of elimination one two three four five so that's going to be it's got to be six right and then w e so these p h okay excellent brain work ian these initials these letters are the first letter of their surnames nice so if I've used my brain correctly. This should be the thing I need. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Cool, blimey! This looks more like it. This is a clipboard. Um, and it looks like there's a safe. So this is a safe cracking device. Well, of course it is. He's, this guy's a safe cracker. Nice. So that means we can head back here, plop that on, and give it a nice t Holy shit. I'm breaking into my own safe here. Oh no. This has just made things worse. Okay. So I, I presume I've got a, a line all these cogs, which I seem to have done. Yes! My brain is, like, just top, top notch today. I don't know which direction I'm facing, but um, it's creepy. This is a quite, I like the kind of creepy, weird atmosphere of this game, actually. What have we got? Whoa! Oh my god. Something's, something's happening over here. The, forgive my unorthodox approach, detective, but I have vital information linked to a case you're investigating. I'm sure you have questions, so please take these lenses and let me show you what I cannot explain. This is only the beginning. Was that always there? What is this? What is this? This... Oh. Okay. So it's that one, then that one, then that one, then that one? Everything has this nice, like, tactile, physical quality to all the puzzles. Um, it really helps draw you into the world. Everything's easy to grab and twist and manipulate. I've just punched myself in the face. Uh, use the eyepiece. Open the inventory and pull the highlighted tab to open the eyepiece. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, then. Well, let's teleport my way over here and check out this spinning box which seems to have appeared out of nowhere. This is some ghostly shit going on right now. So what is this? I can I can spin it right round. And there are, oh, I can spin that as well, okay. Is there anything else I can, ooh. Okay, I just pulled that bit up. Can I move that again? No, I can't move that again. I can't move any of it. Maybe this needs some crazy eyes. Ooh. Okay. This is crazy. I don't want to know what that stain is. All that stain. All that stain. All I know is that someone had a hell of a lot of bodily fluids in them, and that's creeping me out. There is a lot of symbols on the walls, but I don't rightly understand what they mean and oh hold on oh okay I think the first part of that puzzle I accidentally solved and so this part um, so this part has solved it has it that looks that looks like a familiar shape to be honest um, you can I magic whoa Oh, 
Tripping balls. Whoa, where am I now? So, I'm in some kind of Lovecraftian nightmare again. That relic, I presume, is important. Perhaps there's four to get. What is this? Hello. Welcome, detective, to the hidden realm of the Null. The disappearances you are investigating are part of something more sinister than you can imagine. I can show you what happened to these people, and perhaps together we can avert any further loss. This document is no ordinary letter. The Null connects it to me, its author. Use the eyepiece to reveal the connection. Find the others. Discover their fates. The craftsman. Open the inventory and pull the highlighted tab to pull on the eyepiece. There we go. And oh. Hello. Oh shit. Ghosts. Piss off, ghost. I must say, I played this uh, Oculus Connect 6 on the Oculus Rift S, and um, it looked great on that, and I can't, you know, it's been a long time, so my memory can't really compare properly, but graphically, this looks still really nice. Um, I kind of got booted out of the demo once I reached here, but the same sense of scale, the same kind of detail to the environments, perhaps it's not as sharp as it was on the Rift S, but yeah. Um, it's a good looking game, and um, it holds up to the Rift S version as far as I'm concerned. There's no free move in this game, I don't think, and that works fair enough because you've got these teleport points. Let's go here first. Uh, there is, there's no opening this. Um, I, can, I can walk around it and have a... Oh, I can't go too far. I can walk around it, I can have a look. Can I... I can pull on that. What's that doing? That's raising and lowering this thing okay something is making a sparkle oh look that's making a sparkle i think maybe i'm supposed to be here first where are we hello so uh i had the porter pull the sarcophagus from storage again tonight hoping for a breakthrough the imagery seems to relate to a practice of taking devout followers with them to another life they believed this rite could trap and contain their souls, but the hieroglyphs don't follow any known lexicon. It makes no sense. That's some excellent timing on the lightning there as well. Is it you? Is it you? What is making what? There's things here. Many things. What's that? I can't pick that up, but I can have a look at these um, old photos, diagrams. This is showing. Oh, this is showing how the pulley system works. Uh, we've also got a weird tool in there. All right, well, let's try the goggles. Ah, here we go. Well, there's lots of weird diagrams everywhere. He waits at the temple. Well, that's not unnerving. Uh, anyway, I think I've got to stare through the hole in that circle. There we go. Oh, it's like a vision of the past or something. So does that mean, does it want me to go here or something? This, okay, that was quite, um, that's nice. Just uh, un unlocking that door, nice and physical with the movement. Okay, so that, I've potentially moved this to open the gates now. Can I pull on that? I can't pull on that, but maybe back here I can. Oh yeah, nice. Here we go, look. Okay, gates come and open. And then, can I... <laughs> look at me! I'm interacting with the video game world! Amaze walls. Okay, right, that's sparkling, so I think I'm on the right track. What have we got here? What letter is this? The porter was back, asking about my progress. A curious fellow, he seemed almost amused that I couldn't track the code. He gave me a parcel, said it had been left for me in the post room. Inside was an odd-looking lens, along with a note that said the lens would help me with my in my work. Goodness knows how, but at this point I'm willing to try anything. And there is uh, diagrams of um, ancient Egyptian 
mummification processes. And this is a brass weight. Wait, hold on. Brass weight has been added to inventory. That is the noise when you've got a thing to look through, right? See, I'm learning. Judge him. Right, we need to find a circle. There we go. Woof! What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? He's opened up the box, which must be that big box there. Something has appeared. All right, what have we got here? So this is the box, and this is the thing that has just magically appeared. This lens looks like it will fit my eyepiece. Ooh, lensy. Oh, okay, use the eyepiece, open the inventory, and pull on the highlighted tab to put on the eyepiece. Ooh, what's that done then? That's, use the new lens to reveal secrets on shimmering surfaces. Oh, I can, I can reach in and interact with these things now. I guess I have to make four of them. There's one. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah. Okay. That's done it. Nice. Oh shit, more puzzles. Oh no. This looks even harder. So there is a what is that? Is that a brass surface? It's like a bug or something. Um I have no idea for that bit. What is this here? Okay, that can I twist that? No. Oh hold on, because I saw that in that, right? Hold on. Uh yeah, that tr the, this is a triangle -y thing, and that is going for a... Here we go, look. Okay, so that's there. And look, I've just noticed, thanks to the weird semen stain, <laughs> that there is a hole for a paperweight there. Um, so let's take the paperweight and pop that in there. That is... Okay, that's given me this weird Egyptian tool. So, let's go and check this out and see what this is. So, I need to activate my eyeglass again and swoosh that. There is a hint available. Pull the tab to read it. Oh, a hint will be available when the timer has ended. Okay, so you can get hints. That's cool. Um, so, what has that done then? I think I need to put something in it. Maybe that. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, this is cool. Nice. That was awesome. I really like the intricacies of fiddling around with things and moving them about in VR. Uh, this is a tool with a distinctly shaped head. It's like an, is that an ankh symbol? Uh, Okay, that has been added to my inventory. Oh, look, a stalk and a locust. So before I carry on with that, let's go to here. And stalk and loc... Oh, I'd already... I'd already bloody done it. I'm a freaking genius. Okay. What's that do? That is not doing... <laughs> the spirits, I've angered the spirits. Oh, okay, an engraved stone disc. Yoink, so let's go maybe over there. We'll see if anything, oh, that's the shape of a beetle. Have I got anything? Is that gonna go there? No. All right, well, in that case, let's try, the, here we go. Awesome. Took the sword out. And this has now left me with a circular device. No clues with the um, trippy visuals. But maybe this engraved disc? Nope. I'll tell you what I haven't done. Or have I? Have I looked around here? With There we go, look. There's a hole there that is 
Oh, what's that? So there's a hole there that's distinctly beetle shaped, and also there's a beetle motif. Nice! And now I can see with my super glasses. Um, okay, at this point, I'm slightly unsure. What do I need to do? Oh, wait! There are clues on the handles. This one needs to be something to do with circles. Can I? This one's diamonds. Oh! Hold on, I've just worked it out. When you spin them, they move. So I need to, yeah, I need to make this one all red. So I need to transfer the red over here, like so. This one needs to be blue and green. That's got to be it. Yes! Nice. Now this, I know what, I know what that is. That is got to be to do with this. Let's open this sarcophagus, baby. Oh, didn't seem to work. Let's open that sarcophagus, baby. It's, there we go. Turn. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, ooh, phallic. What, what do I do with that? Is that it? Is that all that's done? What is this thing here? Oh, 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 because I've unlocked it. So this winch makes sense, right? Oh, where am I? Oh, but also, hold on, because I need to go back here and change that. So it's not the door anymore. And then, so that still does nothing. This, if I give this a good tug, pull the weight down, hopefully that's going to hook onto the bit of the sarcophagus that, yes! Boom! 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 <laughs> Okay, he's got some kind of weird Indiana Jones style spirits coming out of his face. We've got loads of levers and things. Is that still says the same thing? Uh, we've got a ball, an ornate golden orb that has a roll. It, it rolls like that. And it has different... Oh, that's been added to my inventory. That head's not doing anything. These don't seem to be doing, don't seem to be up to much. Uh, there are, okay, <laughs> tug his fucking mouth down. That's not working. Um, okay, let's try looking through my goggles. There are a bunch of symbols. Not much else. That can't see anything going on with those. Well, we're still not done over here. <gasps> I've got one. Sword, here, yes. Sheath that sword, and what has popped out? A weird engraved cylinder. And what on earth is this for? There doesn't seem to be much going on with it, but it looks like there's something to plug it in, perhaps in there? Nope. Perhaps there? Wait, there? Nope. Wait, that's an M and that's... These, these things here, these are the same symbols that were unlocked on the side of the... Um, the sarcophagus here. They keep falling down. Not like whack-a-mole, is it? So it looks like, according to this diagram, you've got human, wolf, eagle, and baboon are the things that go here, maybe. So maybe I'm looking out for those things as well, but I still have no idea what to do with these two things. Give me a clue! Give me a clue! <laughs> well, that was... 
That was uh, very good. That's Urn and Dog. Nice. I need to shout at the gods more. Urn and Dog. Urn and Dog. Yes. What's this? Half a beetle. It's half of a gilded scarab. Okay. So I know that that takes part of a gilded scarab because I looked at that before. Now, I guess... I can just brute force this last bit, maybe, because I know that that is the stalk. Come on. Why can't I move that? I can move that. I can't seem to move that one. Oh! Hold on. I've opened this slightly. Uh, it has become some kind of... I don't know, flowery shape. Ah, perfect. Okay. Boss! Okay, now things... Are, I've got a bit of a flow again now. Now, what do I do with this, though? I can, I can move these, so I presume I need to line the gold up with the gold... To create a channel that flows through. No, you're gonna stay there, no. Uh, okay, which one fits though? That one doesn't. That one does, and then that one? That's it? Yes! Yes, my beautiful beetle boy! And that is also something that has opened. So what's this done? This has made this go shiny. And oh god. I don't know if I want to put my hand in that. Um, these are stone tiles. I'm going to take these stone tiles. They've been added to my inventory. Shit, there's so much stuff going on now. I'll leave that for a second. I'm going to read this. Night after night I return when all those ignorant fools have gone home. The lens has opened my eyes. I can't believe I was once as blind as them. The work is hard. My tiredness has become a distraction. I'm starting to hear things. Whispers, voices. Always loudest near the coffin. Okay, well, let's go for the... Oh, oh, fuck, I need to look through that as well. I don't... Oh, my God, there's some shit going on there. Right, let's... Hold on. Where's my... There it is. Let's look through the circle. All right, well, let's carry on with this puzzle anyway. This is another... Oh. Can I pull that in and out? Yes, I can. Okay. So, I guess we're going to want to... not do that. We're going to want to construct some kind of... scene... That looks good. Yep, yep, that's done something. The, the scarab has popped out. And the Egyptian symbol cast in gold. There's a... Something is like a, a receptacle or something. Can I put that ball in it? What else have I got? So I've got stone tiles and the Egyptian symbol. I think the Egyptian symbol is going to be what I need for this thing here, I think. If I put the Egyptian symbol for an eye on there, and then brute force it. Yes! Okay, what is this? A metal handle. Maybe the handle can be used here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. This looks like a handle will fit there, and then like that, and then like that, and then... A decorated, a decorated amulet. Can that go on there? Nope. I've got these symbols here. What? Ooh. I just took it off. What now does that do? Shit, I keep taking it off back. Oops, the wrong one. Well, that clips on here. But then what? Alright, let's take that. And let's take that. 
and let's head back to here and pop on that and pop on that. Now, that is locked in, that has locked in. Can I take that and that? Yes. Okay. Storing tile holding a metal token. Right, I see how this is going. We're transferring those metal tokens over to this box. So, metal token, and then, then what? I go like that, and perhaps I have to make all of these blue. Yep, that's that one done. That's that side unlocked. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're using brains. This is really fun, by the way. I've really lost myself in this. I was trying to uh, keep count in my head about how much time I was taking with all the puzzles because my camera only records in 12-second bursts. And I keep forgetting to remember like how long I've been doing things because I'm getting lost in the puzzles. So that's a very good sign. Is this it? No. Damn it, that last one. That last bit screwing me. That needs to, so that needs to be off. And then I need to turn that to on. There. Then up and round and in. Yes! Yes! I'm brainy! Ah, here we go. Look, here's all the... Uh, oh, what is that? A wire basket with the head of a jackal, the head of a falcon, and the head of a baboon. Well, I know where we're going with these... I'm about to give good head to this sarcophagus. Right. Falcon. That's down there. Oh. Jackal. It's on the side closest to me. Baboon. There. Awesome. Now let's tug his beard off. Whoa! Oh, f oh no. Have I just raised a mummy from the dead. That was uh, quite an extravagant sarcophagus opening. Uh, hello, sir. Hope you're well. That looks like something I have in my inventory. And <coughs> again, gross sarcophagus guffs and um, a grim human heart. Oh, look. That dish there is the same as this dish here. And, and now they, this is this is glowed up again. Oh, a different puzzle now. Where is this? Whereabouts is this? Okay, there's a knife here with a, a rope there. So I guess cut the rope. Seems like the only thing I can do. Now what? Oh. Things aren't getting spooky. Ooh. Ugh, ugh. Ugh, they went in my mouth. Ugh. Ugh. Holy nuts. Okay, well, the, the mummy has vanished, and now there is a yet another note. It's always been here. He's always been here since the beginning, waiting, waiting at the beginning, at the temple. They all wait at the beginning. I see them. They aren't blind like me. Okay, what do you see, man? Oh. What do you see, man? This hole? triangle thing from before, is it? Where's it going? This is mysterious AF. Nice. I found another curious artifact. All right, well, I know exactly what goes there. It's that, but I won't plonk it in there because that is as much as I'm allowed to show you a lot of the room VR, a dark matter. And I've got to say, I'm really enjoying this game. There's you know, the locations aren't massive, but what is here is really detailed, really great to look at. Lovely graphics, um, considering the power of the quest. The puzzles are like 
really, really satisfying to solve. They kind of link together really well. So every time you solve one, you suddenly get like ideas on how to solve the other ones. It's really intoxicating and I, I, I'm enjoying solving them very much. It makes me feel very clever. Um, and yeah, I, I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this preview of The Room VR A Dark Matter. This game is coming out early 2020 and it's coming out on PlayStation VR, Oculus Quest and all other PC VR platforms. And if you like puzzle games and you like escape room games, then this definitely should be on your radar because it's good fun, it's good looking and the puzzles are pretty cool. Uh, it's a bit spooky as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of Ian's VR Corner. There's a playlist up on screen right now for you to check out other Ian's VR videos, uh, Ian's VR Corner videos even. I will be back next Sunday with even more VR content here on Eurogamer. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, I'm off to do more detectivizing. Goodbye. Right, you little mysterious bastard.